always take it you so seriously. You interrupted me. You take it so seriously. Keep it casual. Fine, let me take my shirt off. No. Introduce right. the episode. Hello and welcome to Soundboard. It's so serious still. It's too, too professional. Life is serious, no, Sam. No, it's not. It's this is Soundboard. I am Eric. Much better. I'm Sam. I'm Michaela. Say it louder. They can't I'm hear you. I'm Michaela. She's Michaela. I'm Michaela. We're playing Wario World because I own this game and it's fun. You get to play as Wario. He's one of my favorite Mario characters because he's yellow and he's an asshole. Mm. Same relates for one of those reasons. Because I'm yellow and an asshole. Look, a blue diamond. <laughs> Who gives a shit? That's all we have to say about this. In case you can't tell, we haven't recorded in like a week, so these two are all nervous in front of the camera again. Yep. But, as true of everything, the real star of Wario, Wario Land game is, of course, Wario. It's always Wario. He's known as being the... And that's because he is the best platform character, because he has the most personality. Yes. Fight me on that. Well, I mean, his... Uh, uh, um, duh, ignore that. This, I own this game as a child, and it's a weird game, because it, this, it's a Wario game, right? But there's, like, no Mario branding on this game at all, besides Wario. Hmm. There's no Koopas. There's no Goombas. There's no Bowser. There's nothing. Yeah, I found it as well aware. That's kind of a thing for Wario games in general. There's like, there's like WarioWare, Wario Land, all of them are very Wario-centric. I think one of the original Wario Lands had some Mario stuff in it. Hmm. I know Mario 2, the Golden coins has Wario in it, but that's not a Miyamoto game. So, I don't know. Hold on one sec here, I gotta adjust, I gotta adjust something. Um, I also need to get a- ah! I dropped the wow. controller. I get No you don't, it's under the thing. Alright, Michaela, uh, provide Stall for time! I fixed it, I found it, hold on, I don't have a, I don't have a clock set up. Michaela, have you ever played this game? No. What? Never. What good are you then? I'm sorry. Um, so I owned this game as a child. A friend of ours from school, who we all went to school with, actually, she owned it, and then I asked her, is this a good game? And she said, eh, it's all right, and then I bought it. All I knew was it had Wario on it, and at the time I was playing Mario Sunshine, and I loved Mario Sunshine. Yeah. The best thing about this game is the latter animation, you can enjoy Wario's love handles. Yes. I enjoy them. Mm -hmm. Bear in mind, guys, this might be the closest we ever get to a Danny DeVito video game. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's like been in the game in an official capacity. Besides, like, ooh, look, I found the golden plate of Garstel. It's my the most famous of artifacts. Little did people realize that Wario. That was a lot of screen shake. Does that is there more screen shake if you fall from a higher space? Go down to find out. No time like the present. Is that the past? Yes. Yeah, there is more screen shake. That's cool. A lot of the past is like the present. What? What? Oh, here's that cutscene <laughs> again. Every time you play this game, there's a cutscene where Wario goes up and punches the box. Guess what? I have two things at my disposal. I can jump, I can punch. Guys, I'm probably going to punch the box. You don't have to, like, walk, look at the horrible fairies. This is what I'm talking about. No Mario branding. Hmm. It's just, it's a sprite creature. And Wario's saving them because... When you think Wario, is the first thing you think, oh, he's a good guy. No. Well, I know, Sam. It looks like you tip the cutscene to this game, so we don't know what the context is. Uh, horrible <laughs> black diamond. That's about it. Look, it's Wario without his nose. Oh, no, seriously. Why'd you have to point that out? <laughs> horrible black diamond. Wario, being the greedy shithead that he is, stole the diamond, then took it back to his house. And here we Holy are. Holy Craig. What? Sorry, just that... Did you say sucking... Holy Craig? Yeah. <laughs> That's my religion. Just that sucking animation Wario has is... Yeah, it's terrible. That's mm. something special. Eric likes the sucking animation. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> you want to You want to take a mustache right on, you know Sam, buddy? I feel like... Who's the dude? Charles Martinet. He does the voices of Wario. I feel like he was just told, okay, Wario is a huge asshole and eats a lot of garlic. What do you think his voice sounds like? Wow. And this is what we got. Mm -hmm. do, you think, <laughs> do you think that's why he's fat? He stores all the coins in his belly? Yes. He's fat because uh. he's rich. No wonder you can bounce Oh, what is good. this, like, medieval Europe yes. kind of thing? Oh, look, I found the secrets. Ah, uh, yes, Wario has the gout. And that's a, <laughs> a social thing where he's come from. You want the gout. Yes, because how you, rich you are. If you can't walk, then everyone knows that you're a huge piece of shit with all the money. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's my favorite thing in history. There's just this long, long period where I'm, where if you were like morbidly obese, can't walk, pale as hell, all hell, they're like, ooh man, you gotta land that dude. Well, because if you're skinny, it means you can't eat. Yeah. And everyone's like, oh, what if you're really muscular? Even if you were a peasant, you weren't muscular. You wanna know why? Because you didn't have enough food to support getting thick. No. Yep, you were all gristle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what? Gristle? Yeah, gristle. Okay, let's break. Oh, okay, so when I was a kid, I thought that was like a skull. On the box, I like, see like the eyes. I thought it was teeth, but it's a—it's literally like a cage box. Oh, I thought it was like a drawing of a bag. <laughs> what? A I don't know. It made sense at the bag? time, like a lunch bag. Oh, oh, like oh. a brown paper lunch bag. Yeah, I mean, it makes no sense whatsoever, no. but your your thing. Hey, mine did make sense. Ah, man, I what? love me some wrestling moves. Yeah, there's something so visceral and enjoyable, but just picking up a dude and throwing him. So, Mario's thing, right, is that he... It, what's Mario's thing? Does he have a personality? What's Mario's uh, personality? That he's good at things. Uh, he's optimistic. The good guy. He's the... Got the whole can-do attitude good thing he's, going on. He's red. He's red. I mean, he's a team leader. I mean, basically, you summarize him as, let's -a go. He doesn't really have a personality. He's just the hero. Uh, oh, good. It's another one. Look, you can talk oh. to this horrible thing and buy some garlic. Oh. Nope, I don't need your garlic. You that is like selling you know? me on me yeah. levels. Oh god. But what is Wario's thing? He's an asshole. He's also ungodly strong. Yep. He's got the whole stout strength thing going for him. And he's got thick arms. And just about every game where they portray him with like being strong, put up a picture of Wario's fucking pythons. This dude lifts. Yeah. I mean, we rolls up his sleeves. Got the arm hair going on. I don't know about the arm hair. I know he does have like big ass muscle arms. He's sort of got it in this. Not really. I mean, his arms get thicker because they expand. This has been one of those things where if you take it on camera and then, like, slow it down, you see how gross and ugly it actually looks. Yep, like every Disney movie. Ha 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 Yeah, the thing where you pause That's it right. at fuck the you, right Disney. moments. Fuck you, Disney. D Disney, please don't fuck us. Fuck me, Disney. You are a large corporation spanning up, like, most of culture at this point. Yeah. You, you could crush Simpsons. us like grapes. I, I like think like anyone. What? what? Well, yeah, oh, I was gonna much. say I like Disney. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fuck Disney. I'm I don't kill. want them to get mad at me. I want Disney mad at me. I want a cease and desist letter on my desk by three o'clock. Otherwise, if Disney. Anything, I want them to give me free tickets to see Frozen too. Why? Why do you want to see Frozen? Because I wanna. Why don't you see something good? Like Frozen. Like Batman vs <laughs> Superman again. Go see Batman vs <laughs> Superman no. again. Did you already see it once? No. Well, you're smarter than me. Yeah. Yeah. Haha, -ha, hating on Batman vs. Superman. Wait. Only the hottest of takes here oh, at Sound. I never saw that movie. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm good. Wait, you saw Batman? I never saw it. Uh, I only saw the last heart, part. The part where everyone was like, oh, he's stupid because they like each other because their moms have the same name. I'm wasting time here because I think I got everything from down there. This is a weird game. I know we already <laughs> talked about the Disney branding, but... You, you go down these magic... Also, that is a hard JPEG of a lake in the background. Ah. I don't know if you guys noticed or not. Also, every single one of the bad guys. Just giant eyeballs. Yeah, this is how I draw characters. Which yeah. is like stupid looking eyeballs. You just kind of make a list of limbs they need and draw each limb. Oh, that, so one's, just a, that one's just a dinosaur with a stick. Yep. And now he has no stick. And now he's going to get fucking pile dried. Yeah! Boom! Just like that, he was dead. You know what we need? What? We need a picture of a Triceratops playing with, uh, what are they called? The thing where it's like on the ground, you, uh. Jumping jacks? No, that's not it. The thing where you bounce a ball and you pick up tacks? Jacks. It's yeah. jumping, it's jumping jacks without the jumping. Okay, so we need a Triceratops playing with jacks. You know why? Why? Because I'll be a tri Triceratops playing with Caltrops. Can we kick him off the show for this? That was a good, what, 30 seconds of airtime that dedicated to that non-joke. Look, okay, so that, that that's a JPEG, right? But it's 3D. Oh, there's yeah. a flat part to it, and then there's, like, a, a wall to it. That's weird. Oh, yeah, that's, like, an old-fashioned, like... God damn it. What's it called? Like, painted set, almost. Mm -hmm. Like, see old movies. I don't watch movies. I hate film. Cinema makes me upset. Why? I, I don't know. I just wanted to say the word cinema. So Okay, so look. It looks like a skull. Look like there's an eye and there's like the, the, the bars are the teeth. 
Ah, uh, yeah, I see it. I Look, just, it's another one of these I horrible just creatures. It was a prison. Are you using the B button correctly? No. Yes, I know all of this. No, if I do, don't. if I hold it, you do a dash attack. Ah, if you man. do other things with it, it does other things. <laughs> I love it about video games. You can have that stuff. Can you imagine a movie where the one of the characters went, "Hey, make sure you stand parallel to the camera so the audience can see what's going on." That'd be nuts. What do you mean? Uh. <laughs> Uh, just a game that broke the fourth wall. No, just a, like a movie that did. It's like, hold up, don't stand there. The audience can't see you. Stand over here by the table. There you I go. Mean, <laughs> just keep going. Banjo Kazooie Nets and Bolts kind of did that. I mean, they broke the fourth wall a lot. And they made fun of all the people who were playing it. They just want to shoot things. Remember that line? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, for clarification, we love Nuts and Bolts. Oh, we yeah. That, I sounds love that, game. that sounds sarcastic. We love that game. No, I straight up do. I it's, love making vehicles. That game is the only reason I bought an Xbox 360. Yeah, I would play at my house. He came in, watched me, like, make a, a tricycle with guns on it. And he was like, I need you on that. Fuck Halo. Fuck all those other Xbox titles I can't think of because I don't give a enough of a shit. Banjo because we nuts and bolts. Holy crap. <laughs> 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 okay, you go on life. Chuck my own giant stone head at someone. That looks great. I'm gonna pile drive my own stone head too. Lots of pile driving action. Ah. I opened. I got a treasure somewhere. Okay, okay. I'm gonna ask you. What do you think the first boss of this game is gonna be? Uh, your vote. Uh, a T-Rex. <laughs> so you say a T-Rex. Okay, but the level where. What the? I don't know. Everything's dinosaur. What is this art exhibit? I what? So it's got spikes in the middle, and the idea is you gotta get just, oh. just right and avoid the spikes. Okay, so I actually did that right on my first try. That is not crazy easy. I'm not gonna say it's hard, because then I'm like, oh, I'm so fucking good at video games. Which I am, because I'm better than both of you. And I'm better than everyone at video games. I'm better than all of you. Anyone who listens to this, if you think you're good at video games, I'm better than you. I challenge you to a video game off. So, uh, bosses, you were saying? Oh yeah, my turn. Yeah, what do you think I, the final boss of this, this zone is going to be? So you got a whole dinosaur thing going on, so I'm thinking like a big caveman. So you say a big caveman? Hmm. Yep. Okay, so Eric says big caveman, Michaela just said... What the shit? Tyrannosaurus Rex, right? Yeah. Or a T-Rex. Sure. Wow, what a... Did you guys just see that... that Holy shit, that challenge! I came in here, <laughs> I turned you the lever... You the switch! Oh, holy balls! Uh, that's probably the thing where they're teaching the mechanic, you know? It's like you're in a room with nothing but this, so you figure it out automatically. Then next, later on, you can. Oh. Next time on Soundboard, we talk oh. more about. Wario's the... gonna be behind the creepy log. <laughs> He's gonna suck you from behind the creepy log. 